All right, Shalom. First and foremost, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makar Kodash. The one the Apostle Nail is a great millstone for teaching us the more sent truth according to the Bible real well. And peace and blessings so for like the nation of Israel. Take the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema I'm going to get to the Lord's willing at the final lesson. <coughs> you know, sitting there upon, you know, watching, you know, uh, you know, watching for the prophecies of Yahweh by Shema Shai and uh, remaining sober minded. <coughs> Uh, as we see the end of Babylon the Great approaching. This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 4. It's like your verse. 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 7. It says, but the end of all things is at hand. Yeah, the end of this society as we know it. You know, how we get food, how we, uh, 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 you know, have shelter about ourselves. You know, how we get water. You know, how we deal with uh, women, you know, how we uh, deal with our, uh, uh, you know, finances and paying bills. All this stuff is coming to an end. You see, it says, but the end of all things is at hand. The end of Esau, Edom, ruling, you know, planet Earth, you know, and, you know, and anything that we have here in this kingdom is going to be destroyed. When the heavenly fire comes back with that thermonuclear fire and destroys this place and, and, and burns it with fire. You see? So uh, it says, but the end of all things is at hand. Be therefore sober. You know, be, be understand what the will of Yahweh by Shema Shad. Really <coughs> be sober minded. Be clear minded. You know, be a, a fool of, of, of wholesome judgment. You know, sound judgment. How would you make sound judgment? You know, by by your mind, constantly being washed uh, by the Holy Scriptures, because there's nothing but filth and pollution all around us. You know, with the intent to taint our minds. You see, to 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 have us uh, stumble off the path that Yahweh Shai Yahweh by Shai has uh, has driven for us. You see, it says, and watch. It says, be therefore sober. And watch on to prayer. So, <clears throat> sober-minded, you know, we, we, we our, our minds should be what? Occupied in uh, prophecies. Let's get that real quick. <clears throat> oh, Slocky brothers. Um, I don't know, every time I want to do a lesson, just get super congested. I mean, congested all day. But, you know, it's a good thing and a bad thing. You know, uh, the Lord is getting that uh, disease out of you, that disease. This is Sirach 30, 39 and 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High. So you have to give your mind over to the law of the Most High. What does that mean? You have to submit yourself to the ways of the Lord. You know, you, uh, fully, you know. This has to be what you're fully uh, uh, submerged in, this water, you know, this baptism. You see, give me your mind over to the law of the Most High. Well, you know, this pleased the Lord, you know. Let, let, let the things that please Yahweh by Shema Shai be constantly on your mind. It says, but he that give his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof. You see, you're going to be meditating. You know, when you, uh, when, when judgment, <coughs> you see judgment on the, on the rise, you're going to fear the Lord. You know, a wise script say how a wise man will fear in everything. So, you know, in our decision makings, you know, we, we have the fear of the Lord, you know, to be our motivator, you know, and, and to direct us upon uh to to stay upon this uh this path which we are on. You know, that's us being a uh, sober minded. You know, because someone who's not sober, someone who's uh who has, you know, some strong liquor inside of them, what? They become uh bold some of them become reckless, you see, you know, they have that, you know, look of courage, you know, which, you know, we are courageous, but in the power of Yahweh Shema Hashem, that is what we stand, and that power is found here in the Holy Scriptures, you see, not not from the ways of this world, you know, what people will talk to you, whether it be uh, money or finances, those things are not going to be able to save us at all. 
in the times that we're entering into. You see, it says, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient. And that's what your brother should, uh, spirit should be. You know, there's a lot of edification going out. You know, you, you literally can't watch all the videos, but, you know, you should, you should watch what you can. Cue up videos, you know, take time out of your day to study, to read, uh, to pray to y'all by Shema Shai. You know, talk to myself, uh, first and foremost, you know, this is something that uh, I know I can do more of, you know, and I believe, you know, we all feel that way. It says, we'll seek out all the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. You're going to be occupied in the prophecies of Yahweh by Shema Shai, constantly watching, you know, constantly paying attention, constantly uh, 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 praying to Yahweh by Shema Shai. This is First Peter 4 and 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Be therefore sober and watch on to prayer. So as we watch, you know, we're going to be praying, you know, asking Yahweh Shema Shai to continue to uh, keep us in the knowledge, keep us in the faith, you know, to, for Yahweh Shema Shai to continue to have mercy upon us because, you know, the Day of Atonement just passed. And, and we understand, just as the Apostle Paul said, that we are wretched creatures. You see, what a wretched man I am. You see, so we are wretched, you know, we need uh, Yahweh by Shema Shai. We need the Lord, you see. This is um First Thessalonians 5 and 5. Ye are all the children of the light and the children of the day. Yeah, we are in Yahweh Shai. You know, we we we've been we we've got this anointing, you know, this unction from the Holy One, and we understand uh all things. We understand the Heavenly Father's will and what must come to pass in these end days and knowing, you know, what's gonna come to pass, knowing how to prepare. You know, if you knew, you know, what the lottery ticket was, you know, uh, uh, you know, yeah, uh, for in two weeks from now, you you will be watching, <laughs> you know, you you will be ready, you know, for when that ticket was gonna come, you know. But if a man told you here, play this lottery every day, this lottery number, and eventually you're gonna win, you you gonna, you know, and if you actually, you know, that takes faith, cause you have to actually believe. That you're going to win, you know, and the signs, you know, oh, he told you when it hits this certain number, you know, you just keep playing it. You got to play it every day, you know, in order for it to work. You know, when it hits this certain number, you see that number getting closer, you know, you're going to you're going to be ready for it. You're going to be watching. You're going to be watching. That's what we have to be doing, watching uh, for the signs of Yahweh Shema Shah, the things that he told us that that will be happening, the upwards of the people. That the Heavenly Father will visit these people, what? By storm, you know, and temperance and devouring fire. Is that, is not what, is that, devouring fire, is that not what's going on on the West Coast over here? And, uh, you know, not too far from us, but over here in Jacksonville, Mississippi, you have those floodings, you know, that's uh, messing with the water supply. Scripts say the, uh, uh, the fountains of water, you know, um, I can't remember, uh, but it deals with, you know, it's in the second or sixth chapter, you know, the, the stone places, so I'll certainly fill on stone, you know, and that's also what's happening as well, and you can read on down, it says that's also what's happening, <coughs> you know, uh, 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 these, these, these harsh weathers is destroying, you know, the farms, you know, these things, so this, these are the signs you know, as we, as the children of the light that has been enlightened by the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai, must pay, pay attention to, you know, watch for, and, and remain hopeful. Ye are all the children of the light and children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. So we can't be, you know, as those who are in darkness, not knowing what's going on, their conversation is of earthly things, you know, five year plans, ten year plans, you know, oh, if I, you know, in a year from now, I'll be able to afford that high rise. You know, a year from now, I'll be able to buy that brand new car that I always wanted. You know, a year from now, I'll be starting the business. No, we, we cannot be as those. You know, we have to be sober minded. Those are the ones who are drunk <laughs> of the cares and the affairs of this life. 
you see? And it tells you that in Matthew's, the parable of the sower, right? The, the, because the, the fairs and cares of this life, that they become unfruitful. They become unfruitful in the knowledge of Yah by Shemel Shai, being obedient in this world, you know, choke, and, and you become you become choked. This word, this world chokes the word right out of you. This is First Thessalonians 5 and 6. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. So we can't sleep. You know, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you know, the men on down preaching the words of Yahweh by Shemel Oshai. You know, we've been set up as the watchmen, so we can't sleep. You know, we, we got, you know, the Lord set up watchmen, you know, upon the walls of Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace. And that has to be, you know, what we have to constantly uh, keep on our minds to never hold our peace, to keep watching, to keep praying. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Same thing, you know, uh, the Apostle Paul said, Peter saying the same thing. We got to watch and be sober minded, you know. Scripts say be vi vigilant, you know. Let me see. I, th I believe that's First Peter 5 and 8. This verse, uh, Peter's 5 and 8, be sober, be vigilant. You know, he's saying the same thing, vigilant. It means watchful, you know, watchful, full of watching, keeping careful watch for possible dangers or difficulty. Jacob's trouble is a difficult time. And we should be preparing our minds for, you know, for these things that are coming. You know, if you know you're going to have a bad day at work, you know, and they give you a heads up. You're able to prepare your mind for it a little bit more. You know, rather than you just get there, and, and it's just a, it's just a, a, a you know, s i, a s h i t show. You see. It says, "Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, your adversary." So we as us brethren, you know, and the few sincere sisters in the faith, we have adversary. We have an opponent. The devil, you know, uh, the spiritual demon Satan, you know, which we wrestle not against flesh and blood, and his physical counterpart Esau Edom, it says, as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. You know, and a lion is very bold. A lion goes after his prey. He does not wait for his prey to go after him. I mean, to, to come to him. You see, so lions are, are very bold. You know, they go after their prey. You know, and, and you know, we are the prey, you know, those who depart from evil make of himself a prey, right? But we have Yahweh Shemel Shai on our side, you know, and whom, you know, uh, uh, we are more than conquerors, you know, through Yahweh Shemel Shai, you know, you know, if we be part of that number, we're going to endure unto the end. That's our faith. That's our hope. This is, um. St. Luke 21 and 34, and take heed to yourselves. I mean, we got to examine ourselves constantly, constantly be thinking upon, you know, if, if, if this is what we're doing is pleasing the Lord or, or will, will the Heavenly Father be pleased if I do this? You know, these are kind of things that you got to be having on your mind, you know, in decision making in your day to day life. You know, is the Lord going to be pleased if I do this? You know? It says, and take heed to yourselves, at least at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting. You know, surfeiting is the excess feeling. Uh, you know, it's really, it's, it's really you indulging in excess. You know, scriptures say to use the world as not abusing it. You know, because the fashion of this world is going to pass away and you continue in the fashion of this world and the form of this world. You're going to pass away uh, right with it because you, you, you're going to conform to this world. You know, we must be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Though, our, though the outward man perish, the inward man the, uh, must be renewed day by day. You see, it's a least meaning to avoid the risk at any time your heart, meaning your mind, be overcharged with surfeiting. In drunkenness, 
in the cares of this life. You get so caught up in the here and now. You get so caught up, uh, 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 you know, <laughs> we're trying to pay bills, you know, that you're working all these hours. Now you ain't done a video. You know, now you ain't you ain't been reading. You ain't been praying. You ain't been uh, asking y'all by Shema and Shai uh, for help. You know, on your finances, on, you know, your mental stability, on the strength, you know, for you to be able to uh, juggle and balance, you know, the things of this world and the things that, re that are required of us in this truth, of, uh, uh, like the Apostle Gabar said, in this truth of ours. You know, um, it says, in cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares, and... <clears throat> As a, for as a snare shall it come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. You know, the, the prophets have been giving warning about the M-O-T to the B, which is, a, which is a, 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 the Bismarck key, right? The Bismarck key, which, you know, if you're watching, you have this, new, you got this Tesla owner, you know, brother should know what we're talking about. This Tesla owner, right? This dude. You know, that's that's a clear sign right there. You know, you got calamities and plagues all across the world, you know, and, and Jake is still talking about folly, you see? Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, wants us to be of a different conversation, of a holy conversation, knowing that all these things should be dissolved. What manner of conversations are we to be in in all holy conversation and godliness, you see? Watch ye therefore and pray always. So there it is. Watch and pray. You know, always. We should always be praying. We should be praying. Brother should be sending up the Lord's Prayer every day. You know, brother should be uh, sending up prayers first thing in the morning when they wake up. You know, before they uh, really start their day, before their day gets started. You know, for, uh, you know, throughout the day. You know, always, all, at all times. Praising Yahweh by Shema Shai. And, you know, prayer. Prayer should exhilarate you. You should feel, you know, when you're praising the Lord, you should feel a jolt of energy. That's Yahweh by Shema Shai quickening you. That's the Lord comforting you. You see? Some of us feel the, uh, the chills. You know? It says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy of to escape all these things that shall come to pass, Jacob's trouble, and to stand before the Son of Man. So the Lord's will will be counted worthy to stand before Yahweh Shai and receive that mercy that we are all fighting for. You know, she will say, uh, if you do these things, you should never uh, uh, fall. You should never fail, you see. But what Lord's willing, this lesson was edifying, you know, be sober, be vigilant. You know, we're in those uh, uh, troubling times. You know, the day of the Yahweh by Shema Shai is fastly uh, approaching. And we want to uh, stay ready so we don't have to be re uh, get ready. Lord's willing, you're edified. I'm going to say Shalom.